And you have people on the opposite extreme of that that frankly should be hung. And yes, I did say that on video. Racism at Grand Canyon University, that's what one activist group is claiming after a professor made a derogatory comment. Kim Cantero joins us live from the newsroom with the very latest on this uh, tense situation unfolding there at GCU, Kim. Video taken at the forum last September shows theology professor Toby Jennings saying some members of the Black Lives Matter organization should be, quote, hung. Now BLM is calling for disciplinary action against the professor and for the university to hire an outside firm to investigate the culture at the campus. University officials say this incident was not brought to their attention by BLM until last week, and they have since placed Professor Jennings on leave while they investigate. But who was the whistleblower to BLM? That would be this man, Dr. Sean Bowalski. He was also on the forum panel with Jennings, but was recently fired from GCU back in June. Today, he and BLM held a press conference to discuss the situation. Why is this video coming out a year later after the incident happened? It's an excellent question. I was appalled by the video, but I felt retaliation would come if I were to address it with my dean or with the university. But Wolski insisted his red flag to BLM was not a means of revenge against the university. Meanwhile, BLM accused GCU of other similar incidents involving race. This is not the first instance that GCU has either allowed anti-blackness to flourish or allowed a culture that allows these ideas to resonate through their campus. So apology for one instance is welcome, but we need substantive change to show that you are actually committed to this and you not you just want us to be quiet. Students we spoke with say while they're upset about last year's incident, this is not the culture of GCU. I don't feel that GCU's community harbors one of racism and bigotry for sure. I think it's appalling that he made that statement. I don't agree with that statement at all, but um, the fact that we're even having this conversation is another example of how we go about handling things here on campus. As for the professor put on leave, Toby Jennings, we reached out to him for comment but have not heard back. No word yet on if he'll still have his job once GCU completes their investigation. In the newsroom, I'm Kim Quintero reporting back to you. All right, Kim.